Hi, welcome back. My name is Christian Bolt. I go by Chich, and in this video, we're checking out Mirror's micro projector. So the Mirror micro projector, the only reason why I really bought it is because I wanted to try out a projector as a full TV screen instead of using a flat screen TV or any other standard or traditional method of watching TV. I wanted to use up my walls since they are painted pure white. There's an opportunity there to use it as a projector background. So I wanted to try it out and Mirror had basically exactly what I was looking for. Something small, inexpensive with a bright bulb inside. Fits in the palm of your hand, very small, very light. It does have battery power, so it doesn't need to be plugged in to uh, display anything. It has about two hours worth of battery life. I find that to be pretty accurate. I got about two to two and a half hours. I was able to watch a full movie and then a couple of shows or a few episodes of a TV show before having the projector automatically turn off because of dead battery. Now, if I was going to be going camping or if I wanted to take this outside a lot or just move it around a lot, this is exactly what I'd be looking for, especially for some traveling where you just want to project a movie up to a wall or to a backdrop. This is perfect for that. Now, I'm going to go through a lot of the downsides before bringing it back up to the upsides. Um, so starting with some of the downsides to this small projector, there are better projectors out there, much better projectors. This only projects an image at 360p. Now, at 360p, lettering on your apps. If you're hooking up some sort of Chromecast like I did, I hooked up my Google TV. Surfing around apps, looking at text, it does not display text like it should. Sometimes the words are so small that you can't even see the word or it doesn't even show up. And it's not a focusing issue. It's just a resolution issue where you can't read what you're looking for. Most text is okay because some most text is displayed largely, but if you're looking to have subtitles, I would be worried that the text wouldn't show up all the time. Now on the box, it does say that this up to a 50 inch image now, this, what I have up here, um, let me measure it out. So what I've got up here is just underneath 90 inches worth of display. And it's been absolutely fantastic at that resolution, especially sitting across my room, which is about 14 feet away. It's been really fantastic to have a screen that big. Like I said, feels like a movie theater at times. And that's really nice to have. This does have some plugins and some ports that are pretty interesting. You can plug in any screen or anything that uses an HDMI up to this and it'll display it. I will say that a computer doesn't look very good at 360p. You can't really read any file text or go surf any websites because the text will be too small. Um, you can hook up any game consoles and I found that my Nintendo Switch works fantastic with this thing. It's pretty low latency so you don't really have to worry about turning and it not turning right away. It projects really fast and it's really good at that. Otherwise, anything else that I tested just turns up to be, it could be better resolution and then I'd really enjoy it. But at this resolution, it kind of just works and that's okay. Especially for something so small, I will bring this back up. Something so small, it's really hard to find something that's this good at what it does. The only downside that I really find is its resolution. So it might not look that bright up here right now, but it does display 20 lumens worth of light um, if I turn off my lights. In the darkest spaces, while watching a movie, while watching animation shows, especially animation, you don't notice the resolution issue as much. And also, it looks very good, very colorful, very bright, very vivid images in such a dark space, and especially from such a small projector. Now, what's really cool about this little guy is it does have a manual focus feature. I do find that I need to adjust the focus even though the projector has been planted in the same spot since it's come here. Um, I do find that I have to adjust my focus every so often and it's really not that big of an issue. It's just a, it's just something that I've found that I've needed to do and I thought I should tell you about. The only, resolu the only problem that I have with it is its resolution issue. This small projector projects a giant image that looks great. Like I've said multiple times already, Looks like a movie theater, feels like a movie theater, 
especially when you've got it hooked up to good speakers. I'm really excited for a time where I can have all of my friends over and we can be watching a movie or playing Mario Kart on a screen this big. I think that it's going to be a blast. Um, I'm really excited for that time. It's really light, so it's easy to knock it out of place, but honestly, it's not really an issue. On the bottom of this thing, it does have a mount, so then you can use a tripod with it. I think that this is super useful. Think about all the things that you could do with something like this, where it's super small and you could project an image anywhere that you'd like around your room. I think that this would be pretty sweet to do some art projects with, or to make some sort of illusion with. I personally have not had the time to do that, but something this small could be really cool for that. It's highly capable of displaying images that are going to satisfy somebody that just wants something small, light, and portable, that has battery life to play a movie or a TV show. And I think that's where I wanna leave this. Great little guy, um, a little expensive for a lot of people, especially if you're looking for something on a tight budget. But for $150, I don't think that there is a package that matches exactly what this is capable of and good at. Thanks for watching this video. This was all about the Mirror Micro Projector. And if you want to help me become a real YouTuber someday, all you have to do is leave a like on this video and leave a comment. Because that's what's going to tell the algorithm that you liked this video and that the next person that comes along that watches similar videos to you might also like this video. Oh gosh. Well, you can subscribe here if you want to. I would like to get to 10k subscribers in the next few months. Seems pretty unrealistic, but we'll see. And um, this is all my Bolt reviews if you're interested in tech stuff. This is what the algorithm thinks that you'll enjoy. And I hope you do.